there's a big development that has happened in the media space. TV18 and E18 will be merging with Network18, consolidating its TV and digital news assets. Network18 merged entity will comprise of all TV digital news assets uh, you know, that will be put under one umbrella itself. To discuss more on this and the impact that it would have, Karan Thorani, Senior Vice President Research Analyst Media at Elara Capital is with us. Uh, Karan, morning. How have you read into this event and what does this mean for the listed stocks? Uh, hi, Sonia. First of all, wishing you all a very happy birthday to you and your team. Uh, in terms of uh, potential impact, uh, you know, we believe that uh, it really made sense uh, to get all the businesses uh, under one umbrella. Uh, what you are seeing right now is a very big disruption uh, in the m and &E industry because uh, all the mediums of uh, advertising are moving very aggressively towards digital. And there are very limited levers over there, you know, in terms of monetization. And uh, what this will do is that, you know, you'll be able to cross-sell, you'll be able to appeal to a larger set of advertisers, you'll be able to bundle this entire offering around entertainment, content, everything put together, and even maybe charge a subscription fee, you know, to the customer. So I think uh, this, is, this is a clearly very good thing in terms of a revenue scale potential. Uh, you know, you could also see a formation of a, maybe a media super app wherein the customer is kind of persuaded to pay for multiple services. And uh, even in terms of the cost, you know, there is a benefit here because you'll see merger synergies. You will also see, you know, cost benefits wherein a lot of the employee expenses, marketing expenses, the overlap will actually come down. So I think net-net, uh, this should be a very good offering in a very fragmented digital market wherein most of the traditional companies are finding it very tough to scale up. All right. Hi, Karan. Uh, good morning and thanks so much for joining in. You want to quantify the benefits, uh, Karan? Uh, you know, if you could tell us... A rough envelope, I mean, back of the envelope, what kind of uh, benefit could it be? And also, since we're going to be having uh, both these two entities coming together, there'll be synergy benefits. Will it pose a bit of a challenge to some of the listed entities? Or do you think the business perspective itself is very different? So, Nigel, in terms of benefit, if you look at the number, uh, as I say, you know, across uh, TV, print uh, and digital, uh, the market size is about $18.5 billion today in India. Uh, and if you look at the TV and print segment over there, the growth rates are not more than about 3 to 4 odd percent. And uh, if you look at the digital segment, the growth rate is 15 percent plus on a KGAR basis. And, uh, you know, if you look at the revenue scale of the entire company, it's not more than about 1 to 1.2 billion dollars. And the market opportunity is about 18.5 billion dollars. So I think, you know, going to market together uh, will lead to better growth rate, better market share across, uh, you know, these uh, various categories which are there. So you could actually see superior growth rate. Uh, you know, for this company as a whole. And uh, also in terms of cost and benefit, you know, uh, what happens is that you've got multiple apps that you maintain. You've got some print app, uh, news app. You've got some, uh, you know, business news app. You've got some kind of geo cinema app. So a lot of the cost, uh, you know, could be shared here, specifically the cost, you know, which are very high in nature in the form of marketing cost, customer acquisition cost, employee cost. So that kind of benefit will also kind of give a fillip to the overall EBITDA margin of the emerged score. And okay. lastly, in terms of the potential impact for the broadcasters, so I, I, we don't think that, you know, this is a negative impact as such for Z and Sun TV, because uh, both those broadcasters are not based on news, they are more based on GEC kind of offering. So there's no impact on that for now. But uh, this could have a potential impact on TV today, uh, you know, which is a news based broadcaster. And they've also got a lot of digital assets on the print and the business side. So what do you do with the stocks now? Just to summarize everything, what is your view on... Uh, the listed entities? So I think, you know, in terms of valuations, if you see the valuations are not cheap. Uh, so, you know, just broader numbers, I think on an EV beta multiple basis, uh, they would already be trading at somewhere close to more than 20 times on a forward EV beta. Uh, if we assume a very strong growth and if you assume some kind of synergy benefits here in. Uh, so there is not much of an upside from current levels, but, you know, potentially, you know, one can look at this company uh, from a digital uh, company standpoint and if you look at uh, digital you know that's the growth driver nowadays i mean 15 to 20 percent growth is uh, you know happening in that segment so if one were to look at this as a digital first company uh, you would value it on an ev sales basis and that's when you'll probably see some kind of delta emerging over the medium to long term but that really depends in terms of you know how they actually bring everything under one umbrella how are they able to cross sell, upsell? How are they able to target a large set of advertisers? How big can the entire opportunity become in terms of scale and advertising? And can they actually charge the customers a subscription fee? So a lot of monitorables are there, you know, for the valuations to move up from here on. All right, uh, Karan, thanks a lot for joining in and. For